Mega Man X. Actually, the second time I'm going to be trying to make this episode. The first time, I don't, I don't know. I didn't pay attention to what the video actually turned out looking like until I posted it, and it looked like crap. So here I am doing it again. Unfortunately, that is going to take away from this episode a little bit, I think, because one of the ideas I always had with this is it's sort of like just me going in and playing the game until I die, and Mega Man X was a game I hadn't really played in quite some time, now I have a little bit of experience in what the game, uh, a game I hadn't really put much time into in quite a while, and, well, perhaps have enough experience to be able to get further into the game. Now, what I had done when I when I uh, made the original episode was I had managed to defeat uh, the first boss that I faced, which was the penguin one, and then I fought Flame Mammoth, which I died on. Now, let's see if I can beat that here. Which also means I'm not going to quite have enough patience. I've already made this episode before to go through the levels like I did last time. Especially this intro level. I really don't feel like playing this one here. But, you know, that's how it is. Hi, you stupid gigantic bug thing. Alright. I'm actually not doing as well as I did in the first one. I don't know what it was. I was a tear ass and through this before. In this level. Really throwing a lot of health at me. Okay, we're almost at the end here. Last time it threw in what seemed like an inordinate, inordinate amount of cars at me here. Ah, there we go. Only two this time. Last time it threw a lot of cars at me. Okay, now here's Vile. Can't win this fight. I mean, I can try all I want, but... I mean, even with a Game Genie when I was a kid trying to play this thing... I made myself invincible and just wailed on this guy for 10 minutes and I couldn't beat him. Just had, he doesn't even have a health bar. That's how bad it is. Why didn't you aim for his face? Let's do the same pattern as before. Chill Penguin. This game seemed like such an enormous... I mean, like, there was no... 
Um, well, Mega Man 6 was the last Mega Man game released for the NES. So, I guess when people were looking for the next generation Mega Man, the game Mega Man X was really what that had to be, even though technically it's not actually like a continuation of that series. It's sort of like a spin-off kind of, kind of thing. So it really gave the best example of what like the next generation of Mega Man games would end up being. And of course, the me game Mega Man 7 would eventually be released, but... But I don't know too many people who actually like that game, whereas Mega Man X is considered to be, like, one of the greats, I think. So much so that that actually spawned its, its own entire series. I mean, there were a lot of Mega Man X games. Now, it was one that I only played the first few iterations of and then sort of lost interest in as it continued onward. I remember I, uh, I went and I got a hold of one of the later ones, like a PlayStation 1 era game in the X-Series, and I, I got, I traded, traded for another game with one of my friends, and I really didn't like it. <laughs> It'll turn his legs white, and he'll be able to dash. Can't do it in the air, though. But I can... ...dash jump, you know? Like that. It's not really necessary in most levels to do that kind of thing, though. So, I mean... I guess speedrunners love it, but I'm not really going to do any of that. Got to be pretty close to the end here. Oh, that's right. Oh, look what I got. Yeah extra life that will have no value to me. Yeah! And then I left it behind. <laughs> I thought I was falling into a hole there. <laughs> episode to over and end real quick, wouldn't it? Oh shit, I almost lost it there, man. <laughs> oh, that would have sucked. I would have been so disappointed in myself. Okay, I'm not going to play that game. Chump. Oops. Oh, I'm doing stupid stuff. Okay. Aha, you like that shit, bro. Come at me, bro. Come on. Come at me. Come on. Ass. 
asshole. <laughs> I can't go down there because I'll get hurt. Oh, come on. Is this what we're going to do? How are you not dead? Now you're dead. Apologize for the sound of my voice at points. I'm getting hit by some allergies pretty bad this year. <laughs> That was a close fight. Closer than I thought it would have been. I made some stupid mistakes. I wonder if I'll get killed if I fall into that crap. It doesn't look like I would, but level design wise, it makes sense. Oh, no. Actually, I landed right on it. Didn't hurt me at all. Now, the mistake I made last time I did this was that I, um... Oh, you know what? Oh, I remember now. It's because I defeated the, the Frost Penguin first. That would have been lava. And it's not now. Oh, crap. Oh, I forgot about that. You defeat the Penguin first, and then that makes this level easier. That's actually a pretty cool design there. Makes this whole thing I'm doing here possible and extremely boring. I forget what that is. Did I just increase my life? It has been a while since I put a lot of time in this game, as you can tell. <laughs> Get those little claw things that would pick you up and just sort of toss you into the ground toss you into the lava and you'd, uh, or the molten metal or whatever it's supposed to be, and you'd just sort of die. <laughs> that was actually a pretty good move there. I'm impressed with myself. that dash jump can be pretty effective. Now, being a flame mammoth, I'm going to make the assumption that he's weak against um, ice powers. So that's what I'm going to use. Haha! <laughs> Yeah, that did not do a lot of damage to him. I'm about to get my ass kicked. Come on, you big fucker. Leave me alone. Ha! 
<laughs> oh, is that how I'm going to be end up doing this? Oh, man, that feels dirty. Nope, I died. 